Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, April 1st, 2022. It's April Fool's Day and this puzzle comes with a note. It reads, this puzzle has four different solutions. When you're done, read the circled letters from top to bottom to find another one. Normally I would take a note like this at face value, but since today's April Fool's Day, I kind of feel like they might be laying a trap for us. I'm excited to see what this puzzle has in store for us. Alright, let's get started. One across, you might bid on it? I would want this to be auction? Is this going to be eBay? That's an auction website. Blank Radicanu, 2021 US Open winner. I don't think I heard about this. I'm not familiar with this person. Kick hard. Hmm. Kick hard. Interesting. I'm not sure what they're going for here. Who might be asked for a donation in brief? Maybe that could be an alum? Yeah, alumni are always getting asked for donations. Plank again. That could be yet again. Plant. Maybe this is talking about a plant as in like a spy. Could it be a mole? That looks really good. Vegas machine with the best odds. And this is wordplay, so I guess it's not going to be talking about a slot machine. Machine with the best odds. Hmm. Is it just going to be ATM? I don't really get the pun there. I mean, you always get money out of it. Does that mean it has good odds? The best odds. Hmm. Let's see if it is ATM. Maybe this is going to be boot. Interesting. Well, we have a couple of the circle letters filled in. I wonder if this is going to be Emma. Bathroom cabinet item. I guess that could be mouthwash. Okay. We had a deceptively smooth first corner here. Job at a bank say. A job. I don't think they're talking about being a teller. Maybe this is the type of job where you rob a bank. Could that be a heist? Very nice clue there. A head. Maybe that could be like a price. It could be each, like $1 a head. Illegally parked car, maybe. Hmm. Is it going to be a tow away? Is that the right part of speech? I think it could be. First man in Maori mythology. I don't really know Maori mythology very well. I don't know if I'm going to know this. Potent marijuana? I think that could be Kush. Or so I've heard. Suffix with bull or bear? That could be bullish, bearish, if you're talking about the stock market. Is this going to be tiki? How some pet food is sold. That should be in a can. So we have onus here. Encumbrance. Yeah, it's kind of like a burden. Japanese electronics brand. Ooh, um, I don't know if I know this. Is it Siwa? That's ringing a faint bell. Some sources of vitamin C. Hmm, well, it has to be plural. What's this one here? Headliner of the first Warner Brothers short to win an Oscar. Why is headliner in quotes? Hmm, Warner Brothers short. Is it a cartoon? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm familiar with this short. Let's take a look at this long across here. Product often advertising 99.99 effectiveness. I have a feeling that's going to be hand sanitizer. Nice. Okay, that's going to be very helpful. Code initials? Are they talking about code on a website? Could that be HTML? That's a kind of code. How you might feel looking at the northern lights. 
I bet you might feel odd. Yeah. So is this gonna be Tweety? I think it is about a cartoon, yeah. Makes a small plaintive sound. Is that gonna be Muse, like a little kitten? Maybe this could be AIDS, like lemonades? Yeah, so this is Iowa. I don't know if I've heard of that. Group that advertised in the Book of Mormon playbills, surprisingly. <laughs> is that gonna be the LDS? The Mormon Church, Latter-day Saints, yeah. That is kind of surprising. Right, an equivalent phrase. Um, is it, I know? Is that a good equivalent? I think it's pretty good. Let's see if that's right. Blank Ren of The Force Awakens. Yeah, that's Kylo Ren. He was the bad guy. Ocular Affliction, that's gonna be a sty. We could be Lil, Emmy Award winner Aduba. I believe her name is Uzo Aduba. She showed up on another puzzle just a few days ago. Brain freeze cause. Could that be a slushy? Like a cold drink? Yeah. Citizenship test taker, perhaps. Hmm. What is this gonna be? I'm not sure. It should be like an immigrant or something, right? Hmm. Get put away? Get put away. Is this about getting put away into jail or prison? Hmm. Eat at? I wonder if this is not slushy. It seems like it's not helping here. It may be perfect for writing. Hmm. Is this going to be talking about the perfect tense? There's a present perfect tense. That would be a pretty tricky clue there. American Blank, Neil Gaiman novel that won the Hugo and Nebula. Hmm, I'm not super familiar with Neil Gaiman's body of work beyond the Sandman. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna know that. More than flirt with? <laughs> Is it gonna be hit on? Tense is looking pretty good. It makes Il Mundo go round. Il Mundo. That means the world, right? Um, what makes the world go round? Hmm, I'm not sure exactly what they're asking for here. It's gotta be in Spanish though, right? Cry of contempt. Maybe that could be UG? Hmm. Lead to, lead to, hmm. We're having a little bit of trouble in this corner. It almost feels like this should be an emigre, right? Yeah, I think slushy has to be wrong here. Let's put in emigre. Maybe it's a slurpee. Yeah, let's try slurpee here. Same idea. Is this American Gods? Maybe I have heard of that. Eat at. Maybe this could be not like eating at a restaurant, but it could be about like water eating away at something. It could be a road. Hmm, this looks very strange. It almost looks like it should be baguette. That's kind of leading to something, right? So maybe this is ba instead. This could be baguette, get put away. Oh, it's gonna be go to prison. Yeah, we were on the right track there. Very nice. So what do we have so far? A-N-O-T-H-E. <laughs> Is this just gonna be another one? <laughs> That's so funny. I think it is. Is that gonna be our April Fool's prank? The note read, you'll find another one, and we literally are going to find another one. <laughs> that feels appropriately April Fool's. Big 12 school. I really don't know college athletics very well. Ad council output for short. That could be PSAs. Closing activity. Hmm, what kind of closing? Blank interface, that should be user interface. 
That U doesn't help very much. <laughs> it's just going to be a university. Scotch flavorer? That could be peat. Yeah. Spicy kind of seasoning. Hmm. Is that Creole? That sounds pretty good. Closing activity. Oh, is that going to be a sale? Like you close on a house? Oh man, what a tricky clue. So this is ISU. I don't even know what school that's going to be. Is it like Iowa State or something? KC to Detroit direction. Kansas City to Detroit. That has to be North Northeast, right? Biblical land near the kingdoms of Judah and Moab. Um, <laughs> I don't know my biblical geography very well. I'm going to need help on that one. Command after mistakenly pressing control Z. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't control Z undo? Would you press undo again? No, wait, it should be redo to undo and undo, right? <laughs> I think that makes sense. Um, ND looks really weird. I guess it's east northeast. Man, I guess I was off there. So is this going to be Edom? I think Edom was somewhere in the Bible. Could that be right? Brown dot follower. This has to be an email address. This is going to be edu. Yeah, you could ask the alumni about that. ER staffers. That has to be registered nurses. Let's see what this long across is. It might help clear things up. Hmm. It seems like it should be window cleaner. So maybe I spelled this wrong. Is it Edom? Wait a minute. We should know what this is. Another. Yeah, this should be an O. Okay, so let's go ahead and put window cleaner in. Can we get these downs? Get more 45 down. See 43 down. <laughs> okay, we're going to need some crossing help there. Fit for a big write up, say? Could that be newsworthy? Yeah. Nocturnal marsupial. That has to be an opossum, right? Nice. That's a nice piece of fill there. Masterwork completed in 1499. Hmm. A masterwork. I'm not sure if I know this one. Fertile spots? Could that be oases, plural? Runs. Could that be airs like you would on a television station? Play matchmaker for? That has to be set up, like on a date. C43 down, okay. Is this gonna be issues? Get more issues, yeah. Is this about resubscribing maybe? Hmm. Let's see if this is issues. Upper atmosphere, yeah, that should be the ether. Up in the ether. Oh, is this the Pieta? Yeah, that's the sculpture of Mary and Jesus, right? Okay. Authority. Yeah, that looks like that has to be say so. So this is pro. Whiz. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm still not sure what this down should be. Event with Easter eggs. An event. Hmm. I don't know. It gets ready as a cue stick. That should be chalks, right? Yeah. Hmm. What is this? Easter eggs. Hmm. Mess. Is this going to be about a mess hall? Like in the army? Or is it just like a big mess? Hmm. I'm not sure. Behind. Could that be late? Snack brand owned by PepsiCo. Well, I imagine they own quite a few snack brands. Maybe it's Lay's? Maybe mess could be clutter. Yeah, that would be a messy mess. Little rascal, that could be a tyke. Federation formed in 1922 for short. 
I imagine that's the USSR nickname that's an alphabet trio. I guess that has to be Stu, S-T-U. What's this long across here? Sound filler. Sound filler? Oh my god, they're not talking about audio sound. They're talking about sound as in a body of water. I think this is going to be salt water. That's so tricky. I love that clue. That's really funny. So this is going to be renew. Yeah, you're going to renew your subscription. And then I guess this is an Easter egg hunt. Okay. I've got it, an equivalent phrase. That should be aha. That's what we said after we got another one. Holiday cookie shape. Hmm. I guess it could be like a tree or a cane. Those don't really fit though. Damage, could that be hurt? Like many college film projects. Hmm. I'm not sure, what are they going for there? This doesn't look good either. Sassy. <laughs> what is that? Is it pert? What's this short across? Where the cucumbers are not for eating. That has to be a spa. Yeah, they go over your eyes. So maybe this is a star? It's not hurt. Maybe it's harm. There we go. This could be pert still. Maybe this is arty, arty farty. And then this is going to be army, a drove. That's a lot of something. Yeah, an army. Excellent. All right. Well, let's throw that Y in there and see if that'll do it for this April Fool's Day puzzle. All right. A Friday puzzle in 1938. That is an excellent time for a Friday puzzle, especially a kind of tricky Friday puzzle like this one. So what do we have here? We were told that there would be four solutions on this grid, right? I only see one solution. It did say that there would be another one in the circles, and we did find another one literally in the circles, but we still need to find four solutions, and I think I have an idea as to where they might be. Take a look at these four long acrosses here. We have mouthwash, hand sanitizer, window cleaner, and salt water. Those are all four chemical solutions, right? That is so funny. They weren't talking about solutions to the puzzle. They were talking about chemical solutions, and we have four of them here. What a funny April Fool's Day prank to pull on all of us. Yeah, this is a perfect kind of grown-worthy punny prank that I think a lot of us crossword solvers are really gonna appreciate. There was some really nice tricky cluing today. I loved sound filler for salt water. That was great. Go to prison had a pretty tricky clue too. Get put away. It's not about putting something away in your medicine cabinet. Yeah. And heist had a really great clue too. Job at a bank. Wow, that is really, really good. ATM had a pretty funny clue too. Vegas machine with the best odds. Yeah, that's the only one that you're guaranteed to get money out of. In addition to our four pretty nice long solution answers, there were some other nice kind of medium long fill too. I liked a possum. That's a pretty fun one. Newsworthy is really good. It was fun seeing Tweety in there. And I liked Slurpee too. Brain freeze cause. All right, well, hopefully we didn't make too much of a fool of ourselves on this April Fool's Day puzzle. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging puzzle of the week, this Saturday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.